It's true. It's happening. It's actually happening. It's, oh my God. So let me catch up to speed in case you missed the previous video. What happened was Brian Gannon, the creator of Chaotic, made this tweet and it made it sound like Chaotic was coming back. Chaotic 2.0, etc., etc. So here's the follow up to that. Immediately, when that tweet was made, a game who is one of the moderators for the Chaotic Discord went to the licensing expo where that tweet was just to interview Brian Gannon. And he interviewed Brian Gannon. Now there's a link to the interview in the description, but I'm gonna give you the highlights and what I took away from what Brian Gannon said. So as of right now, they are not even in development. They are in a testing phase. What they plan to do is they plan to re-release the old show on television just to see if there's a market, just to see if there's demand, just to see if people react to it. As of right now, they don't have any plans in order to make, uh, in order to release the card game, but they did mention that if they were going to, because that is, you know, on the list of things that they're considering, if there is enough demand and if people ask for it, then the unreleased Fire and Stone set is what they will be releasing, seeing as that set is already completed and it'll be easier for them to just make it and release it. There's not a development cost, it's just a print and ship cost. What I thought was interesting is that he also said that they haven't actually decided whether or not they're going to keep the codes. Thank you. Because if you watched my previous video, you'd know that I am not a fan of the codes. Well, I was, and after getting screwed over a lot, I'm not a fan anymore. And if you want to know my opinion on that, go to the previous video because most likely the people who are watching this already saw that video and I don't need to repeat myself. But he did say that if they decide to go with the codes, that the previous codes from all the previous sets will be honored, which is vague. Honored doesn't really mean what you could think it means. That's, it's probably intentionally vague because honored could mean either you enter it in the game when they release a game and you get the digital version of the card or it's going to be, I don't know, you present your card at an event and you get an equivalent of that card in the new version of the game or you send it in and you get something in return. Honoring is a very vague term and I want to point that out because some people are going to just assume it means what they want it to mean when it really means very little. I missed a few things when I watched the interview and Low Tier for Life messaged me on Twitter reminding me of some things, so thank you. Shout out to Low Tier for Life. Epic Story Media, which is the new company that is go that has the rights to Chaotic, will be working on a mobile game and are considering a VR game. They did mention that in the interview where Beyblade and Slug Terra is getting a VR game in the works. They haven't really considered anything for Chaotic, but they are, if the VR games go well, then it'll definitely be transported to Chaotic. The online game will return, but not using the Unity engine like it was previously. They are focusing on the game first and TV show second, but they are re-releasing the, the, the old episodes, and they're hopeful for a 2020 release. So, I was kind of right about a year for this stuff to be created. So, I'm gonna pat myself on the back. Now, what do I think? One, it is extremely smart of them to just re-release the old episodes. It's, it's very common for there to be a lot of a vocal minority that is extremely vocal, that makes it to where people think that there's demand for something when there actually is very little, and the very little demand is just making it seem like they're bigger. Not dumping a bunch of cost into a new show is smart, and just re-releasing the old episodes just to test things, that's clever. I, I appreciate that, Brian. I told you, I told you in the previous video. Brian Gannon knows what's up. Brian Gannon is a businessman. He knows, he knows how to do things. They're also going to be saving money if they just release Fire and Stone. So they're also saving money there. So they're very cost conscious because this kind of feels more like, not really quite like a startup company, but it's close enough to a startup company to where they need to be 
tiptoeing their way to glory. I just, I just think it's clever. I think it's smart. And uh, you know, the old show is fantastic. It holds up. The old show is actually impressive. Coming from someone who watches a bunch of old shows, old cartoons for his channel, Chaotic holds up extremely well. Chaotic is one of the most impressive cartoons I've ever watched in terms of story and delivering the, the lore and not having it feel like it's just there to push a product. They actually worked to incorporate the the strategies of the game into the into the into the show, and so yeah, Chaotic is one of the smartest TV shows out there. Here's the thing that concerns me: the frame for Chaotic, the old cards, isn't really quite the best. It could be updated if they plan to just release the next expansion of Fire and of Fire and Stone. Then they're kind of sticking themselves with the old format of Chaotic, the old frame, the old style, the old card backs. Not necessarily the card backs, but it makes you think that they'd use the old card backs. I'm hoping that they, if they decide to re release it, they aren't going to restrict themselves, and they're willing to update the frame, update the, the you know, the everything around the artwork, if you don't know what I'm talking about. The, the boxes, the the the, fra the border, all that stuff. I also really hope they change the card back, because slapping the URL is kind of... It's probably not going to work anymore. No, they, I think they still have the rights to the URL, so that's probably going to be okay. And they're probably not going to change it, because that would just be a small cost that they don't care about, which is upsetting. But if they actually, if they really care, then they would. So all that rambling done, what should you do? Here's what you need to do in order to help Chaotic. One, watch the show. They're going to get ratings for the show. They're going to see how many people are watching it. Watch it, record it, watch it, I don't care. Two, be vocal. Go on Twitter, go on Instagram, go on any social media you are attached to and talk about it. Say how excited you are. They need to see the excitement. They need to read how people are reacting to this. Because if you're just sitting there like, oh man, I'm excited, they're not omniscient. They can't hear you through the veil of powers that they have. You have to tell them. I mean, Brian Gannon is on Twitter. You can tweet directly at him. Just bug him. Do it. Might as well. He's opening himself up for this. And he wants to know if there is a market for this. Tell him, yes, there's a market. Now, when is the show coming back? Because we don't technically know when it's going to be re-released. So what you should do in order to find out is that, well, you can subscribe to me because chances are I'm going to tell you. Most likely, if it's like that, I'm going to tell you via Twitter because I'm not going to make a whole video saying, hey, it's coming out this date. Great, like and subscribe. That's going to be dumb. So the smarter way to do it is to go to the Chaotic Discord because that's where I'm getting a lot of this information. And I'll have a link in the description below for the Chaotic Discord. I'm, I'm actually taking out like all of, I'm taking out all of my social media links and just putting all of their social media links. Also, more importantly, you should, you should support a game, because he's the real hero of this whole thing. I wouldn't be able to make this video without him going and interviewing Brian Gannon. This is huge. This is amazing. I am shocked someone would actually do this, especially since it's a licensing expo. Like, how fun is a licensing expo? I actually have no idea. He took pictures. He took extra pictures there. That's fun. Now, you should also, like, go see his video, because I only gave you some highlights. They did go into a little bit more about their plans, and I intentionally left that out so that you would go see his video, because if I just ripped his video and put it on my channel, that'd be kind of scummy, and I can't do that. Even though I did give, like, the most important points in this video, still, you should go see it. It's only five minutes. It's, it's a five-minute video. Yeah. Five-minute interview. It's not long, and it has closed captioning because it's loud, because it's an expo, so you can click on that, and it's, he actually typed it all up. It's not auto-generated closed captioning. So with that being said, one more time, Brian Gannon, if you're watching this, you need a content creator, you need a, a, an influencer that really loves Chaotic. It's right here, right here. You can tweet me, you can message me, you can email me. I'm, I can help you. You can help me, I can help you. Help me help you, you know? That sounded so, so, so cliche. Wow. So that's everything we know. That's everything you need to do. And if you want more news, whenever it comes out, I will be telling it to you. Either through Twitter or through this YouTube channel. So keep that in mind. All the links are in the description. Go do your duty and talk about Chaotic. I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay beautiful and keep playing.
How are you? <laughs> oh, great, thanks. <laughs> first, first off, nice to meet you. I'm super excited and I want to ask some questions from the community. So the first question comes from Mystic. We'd like to know if you're, you're releasing the old packs and um, if the old packs codes will be honored. So the, the old packs kind of stand on their own and codes will be honored if you use it. Thank you.